Hey guys, now in today's video, we're taking a look at the Bamboo Labs A1 3D printer. This is one of the easiest printers that you can find on the market that's going to have amazing print quality. Now, this printer is a re-release. This printer was released earlier in the year, but also was recalled due to some concerns with the heat bed. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this version of the A1. This happens to be an updated version with the new bed uh, cable system, if we want to call it that. Uh, this is straight from bamboo, so it's not one of the ones that has been, let's say, refurbished or where the bed has been replaced. This is what you would get if you were to pick up a brand new A1. You may be asking yourself, would I recommend the A1? And I have to say, absolutely yes. It is one of the easiest printers on the market to use. It is virtually error free. It is also going to give you amazing print quality right out of the box and there's no tinkering needed. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, as you saw, we are fans of the bamboo lineup of printers and right behind the A1 and I'm going to pan back up for a second. You can see that I actually have uh, three bamboo printers that you can see. Uh, right behind us there's actually six right so you have three on top and there's actually three in the bottom all running print jobs right now and we have consistent print quality coming from all of the printers and i'd say that the same thing is true of the a1 one of the things i love about the actual bamboo line of printers is the print quality is consistent throughout every printer so while the price point for this printer is very different than the ones behind it the print quality that you're getting is the same. It's at the same level as the ones you saw behind this specific printer. Now, a couple things that you'll also notice about the A1 is that the A1 is what they call or what is considered a bed slinger, meaning that the bed itself moves forward and back. You can see right now it's actually running a print job. It's actually printing a candle holder in vase mode and it's printing a Polymaker uh, PLA. Uh, I'll list the color and the details of this um, in the bottom so you'll be able to uh, grab this if you're interested or you'd like to know what the details are of the filament. Now the cool thing about the Bamboo A1 is that it does come with a PEI sheet so you see this sheet right here and it makes it so that every print sticks. There's no glue sticks required. I've never had an issue where print not sticking as long as you do the appropriate maintenance which means just cleaning the bed and just maintaining the printer. And the neat thing about the A1 line, and for, for that matter, the bamboo lineup itself, it will tell you what you need to do when you need to do it. Meaning that if you have to provide any kind of lubrication, it's gonna tell you. So it is. it has a lot of preventative maintenance type features that make this printer a very easy printer to run for a very long time. And the printers that we have uh, behind are running almost, uh, let's say about 18 hours a day. So they're doing a lot of printing and the maintenance that I've had to do is very, very little. I do have other printers. I have printers uh, from various brands and even some very expensive, well-known brands that frankly can't keep up with the bamboo lineup. But first of all, you do have a micro SD uh, slot here. This is pretty much used for cash purposes. Um, I, everything we do with the bamboo and that you would do with the bamboo would be through the phone or through the app and it's all wireless. You have a nice touch display and the touch display is color. It's very responsive and let's take a closer look at it. Now the cool thing about the touch display is that it is incredibly informative. So you basically have the duration of your job. This has been running for a little bit over an hour. So you're looking at 97% complete. You can see the product that's being printed. Uh, you also see details that it's being recorded. There's AI that's actually monitoring. There's a little AI camera here that's actually monitoring the job. So if it sees that something is um, not normal, it will let you know. You have your print temperature 220. You have also your bed temperature 65, uh, your speed fan. And then if you have the light on or off and the light is a small light right here, that's really only for the camera. It's not going to light up the bed uh, significantly, but it's there. Now, the one thing I'll mention about is uh, it also has an onboard, so it's recording everything. You can see the little record function there taking place. And as you do prints, you can also store things um, on the SD card so that you can retrieve them if you want to print later. But you can see very big display, 
everything is really easy to read. You know that this is the stop, this is the pause, uh, and everything is in its place. We'll take a look at what other options are here once this print is finished. Now we're gonna jump immediately to the back of the printer so that you can see uh, some of the things that change. So this is the cable that's coming out. It's been quite improved and you can see how it's kind of braided. It has a braided material that basically goes right into the back here of the printer. The, the cable itself is kink free, right? Given the fact that it has this kind of mesh material, right? Going all, it's almost like it's, it's armored, right? Going all the way around. Uh, one of the things that if you did have or do still have an A1, uh, it, you'll notice that some things have changed, not just the cable, but you notice that there's a little cap right here as well. Uh, placement of the cords are still in the same place. So you have your power, you have your power switch. On this side over here, you have the connection to the AMS, and then you have the secondary AMS connector. Uh, in the future, there may be some other capabilities coming, nothing that we know of right now, but again, uh, that's one of your connectors. Now, one of the things that you'll notice here that I have, and we'll zoom out a little bit so that you can see this. Now, the printer itself does not include uh, this bracket. This is not part of the printer, this is an add-on. And we actually printed all these parts that you see here. We have what we call, or what is known as the poop tray, because it does uh, expel these little nuggets of poop as it's cleaning itself. So you're gonna see one right here. So here's some poop. And I have this little thing right here on the side because what it does is it basically, uh, as it's cleaning itself and making sure that it has a clean nozzle, and also it's testing the filament to make sure that you have a good print, it basically is going to throw it into this little tray. Now, these arms that you see right here that appear on both sides are used for stability because in, on the very top, you'll notice that I had all the spools connected. This has what is known as an AMS, and basically it has multiple material, multiple spools that you can run multiple colors um, and also then run you know, various material types depending on the type of print that you're gonna do. So you're gonna be able to print a lot of different materials with this, not just PLA, PETG. Uh, you, there's other materials that you can print because of the nozzle itself, but one of the challenges that you have with a printer like this is that because it's an open frame, there are materials that require, I would say, better temperature control. And here in my space, it gets really cold, so I would have a lot of curling, and probably I'll stick just with PLA. The most what I do on this is PLA anyway, but some of the other materials like PLACF or even some type of nylons may not work well because again, it's not enclosed like the printers that you saw behind me. Now, one of the things that you are seeing in the industry more now than ever, and this is something that really Bamboo brought to the 3D printing industry, is the ability to have multiple print spools connected to a single printer. Now, there are other solutions that have been out there, things that I've had as well that have not really worked super well when it comes to, uh, again, multi-color or multi-material. However, I will say that the Bamboo line has just done fantastically well with these AMS systems. So this is what is called an AMS light. The ones behind that you see, kind of like those big ones, those are the standard AMS. And what they're able to do is hold four rolls of filament. Now, the cool thing about this is that it will automatically switch filament based on what you're printing. And you can have mixed uh, I would say mixed colors in a specific print. Now, for example, what you see right here, this is a scraper. This scraper here, I printed on this specific uh, printer. And I also printed uh, this guy right here, the actual blade itself. This blade was printed in ASA and the, blade, and the actual scraper holder was built or printed in PLA. Both of these are from Polymaker. Both of these uh, filament choices that I have here are both from Polymaker. Now, I also do have Bamboo Lab filament as well that we've been using on it, and it prints flawless, absolutely flawless. Both of these are going to print really well. So uh, the big change is that you have these, this, again, this, uh, again, AMS light uh, that makes this printer very unique. Um, all your filament basically comes in through this tube. It gets uh, inserted or removed, depending on what you're printing, um, into this uh, print head. What you'll notice is that this print head then has a little chute that as it's cleaning itself out, will drop it in here. And then what you have is, uh, again, this is your, again, your control module that goes into the actual 
uh, actual, I would say almost like CPU or, or where all the processing takes place so that everything knows what's going on. Now we have here the actual, now the print's just completed and a couple things I just wanted to highlight. You can see that this took an hour and 15 minutes on a standard printer. This would take a lot, lot longer. And you're going to see how I removed the print. It's just easy to remove. You can report flaws. You can go ahead and send another print if you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Right. And just show you some of the menu functions. So I could just go here into print files. You'll see I've been printing several of these different candle holders. We also been printing some jigs and things that we make. Um, I'm going to show you a print of a of a actually dice tower that came out fantastic using this material from Polymaker. And then you'll see again some of the stuff that we do. We do a lot of functional parts uh, in our 3D printing. So you have all your printers. You have over here your filament. So you'll notice it has right now three spools are being are loaded, but actually only two of them I've identified. So you have PLA, PLA. These are both Polymaker. I was printing some Bamboo Lab uh, filament. That's why you see two that don't have anything on there because I just switched them out. Load and unload. You could have an external spool if you wanted. And the external spool function really works well when you're printing, let's say, very large spools that just have the same color continuously. I have those as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the control area. Here you can see your control, your nozzle temperature. And one of the things I really like about the bamboo line is that when you set a temperature, it stays in that temperature. So if you're looking at something that's 220C, you don't really see it going from 220, 219, 220, 221. It is, say, spot on. And you can see right now it's actually cooling off. Your bed temperature as well is the same. And then you have um, your controls that you have here with also uh, movement um, on this side. X, Y, Z also. Uh, so you can move home up and down if you'd like to do that. No need to do that right now. Now, under the settings area, this is where you'd go in and look at your network configuration. You look at your IP. There's a lot of information there that I'm just not going to show right now. Now, for those of you who are curious, uh, this is a little poop tray that I printed out to put it on the side. That way it keeps things nice and clean. And I like the way it just comes here on the side. And again, this was also printed on this printer. And just look at the overall quality. When you look at these prints, they're just so, so clean. And that's what I like about the bamboo family of printers. They're, they're going to give you the best quality out of the box without any type of tinkering. And they've taken the time to calibrate the, the filament. And if you want to use a filament that's not in their library, it doesn't take much to calibrate it either. All right, we're going to put this back. Um, one of the things I also wanted to highlight is in the very back, and we'll bring the bed a little bit forward. It does have this nozzle wiper right here, which also makes sure that the nozzle is nice and, uh, I would say, clean. And you could get different nozzles as well. The nozzles you can go to for... You could get a six and I think an eight. I think we have all of them here. And the larger the nozzle, it just means the faster it's going to print. This also, one of the cool things about this is that this printer, you can swap the nozzle out without any tools. Love that, right? So, and there's no cables. It's something that you just pop out easily. Now, if I want to remove this print because of the type of bed that we have here, all I do is I just flex it like this. Then I've already heard it coming off. And then it comes out just like that. The one thing that drives me a little nuts is the magnets on this are so strong that putting this bed back and making sure that's aligned is something that sometimes is troublesome for me. Um, I don't know if it's for other folks, uh, so but for me, it definitely is. Let me know if you find that it's really easy to put this back in. But I find myself you know, struggling at times and putting it multiple times. I'm going to have to see if there's something on um, the maker site to that would help me maybe align it so that it snaps in a lot easier because I always worry about this. Now, this is a double-sided sheet, so I can flip it either side, and I'll be able to print. Uh, right now, I'm using this side, and I have no reason to switch to the other, so that's pretty cool. Now, check this out. Look how beautiful this is. So this is a candle holder. I'm going to show you in our kitchen what this really looks like with a candle inside. And what I love about something like this, and this was printed in base mode, so you can see it's very thin, all this is is to decorate a candle from being a standard candle, which is going to be in a glass jar that kind of looks ordinary. And then once you put it in here, it looks absolutely extraordinary, especially because of the glowing of the candle. It just makes it look really nice. Now, here's another part that we actually create and we actually print um, on this printer. And this is basically a fixture or a jig for laser engraving. It's a functional part. And this is actually for golf tees. And one of the things I love about, again, the bamboo line, and this is also using Polymaker PLA, this is the fossil gray, is the overall quality. Uh, this is just so clean. And it doesn't matter 
you know, I can have six of these printers going and the quality is identical. If I were to do a caliper test looking at the, the actual dimensions to make sure that they're accurate, they will all be the same. That's what you get when you get a Bamboo Lab printer, something that just prints. It just prints and it prints right every single time and they all print the same. All right guys, so now we're in our kitchen. I just wanted to show you what the candle holder looks like. And this is again, the kind of quality that you're getting from the Bamboo Lab. So you can notice how there's like a, a slight silhouette in the background as the candle light is coming through. And this just dresses up a candle from being something that's just ordinary, right? We'll go ahead and pop one out. Something that just looks like that. And when you put it in something like that, it just changes it completely. And then when it's lit up, it gives you this nice glow effect. Look how nice that light that looks. This was again printed on the Bamboo Lab A1. Awesome. Now, here's another print, one of many prints that we've ran on the A1. And I just want you to look at the detail here. So this is a dice tower. And this dice tower, the quality is spectacular. Right? This is using Polymaker PLA. And look at that. Very little supports were printed with this thing, and they just came off so easily. And this is what I'm talking about with uh, the Bamboo Lab series. Just gorgeous. Isn't that cool looking? Get a little closer there. Probably some little stuff that I got to clean up here and there, but still spectacular print. And this first layer is also awesome. If we look at this one over here, Look at that layer. Super awesome. And then if we look at that jig again, again, super clean as well. So overall, uh, the printer is a fantastic printer. If you're looking for the easiest printer, again, easiest printer on the market, the one that's going to print every time, the one that's going to give you fantastic prints, stuff that looks like this, or maybe not as scary as this, the A1 series, or just for that matter, the Bamboo Labs series as a whole will give you an amazing printing experience.